Hey guys, it's the Aussie Tech Gamer, and in this video, this is my mod review of the uh, Hunting Traps mod for 1.5.2. Now, I put a lot of effort setting this all up, so I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like and a comment and even subscribe. So, let's get into it. First of all is the Cage Hunting Trap with the number ID 2001, and you craft it with 6, 8. I bars with redstone in the middle, it'll create the uh, cage hunting trap. The next one is the fire hunting trap with the number ID 2002. To make it, you'll need six bits of stone, a bit of flint, redstone, and iron to create the uh, fire hunting trap. Next is the grass camouflage pressure plate with the number ID 2003. Uh, to make this, you'll need a bit of redstone, a bit of seeds up the top. Uh, some dirt in a boat formation, create the uh, grass pressure pressure plate, pressure plate. To make the pitbull hunting trap with number ID 2004, need two gunpowder, a redstone, two iron, and four stone. To make the uh, pitbull hunting trap, to make the incinerating fire trap with the number ID 2005, flint and steel, a bit of redstone, a bit of iron, and six stone to create that. The next one is the fake grass covering with number ID 2006 with some seeds and some dirt. It's great that, like that. This is the fake sand covering with number ID 2007. Sandstone and sand, just like the last one. But this is a bit more expensive than the grass. Next one is invisible pressure plate with number ID 2008. Uh, four glass plates, four redstone, and one just stone. As you can see, it looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah, you can look at that. Look at that. It's definitely not invisible. The next one is the spikes with the number ID 2009. Is four iron ingots to make this. Okay, now let's get into it. Top of this wire cart, press the button. On our way back to the start to have a look at the individual things with the go away ostrich. Oh crap! Okay, so we're at the chest with these stupid animals just annoying us. Let me just kill them. Okay, they are gone now, so let's just quickly change it the day. Okay, we're back now, so pretty much I made this epic chest of epicness. Let's open it. Okay, first of all, I have all of the things in the mod. There is nine items in the mod. Then I have some things in the center of that we're going to be testing them out on. And at the bottom is going to be all the tools that I'll need. So let's grab these. I'll grab the tools first. And let me grab some building materials. I'll grab two for now. And let's grab some mobs to test this out on. Okay, I'll grab some chickens as well. And maybe village. Oh, we'll grab a few. Use these for now. And let's grab a bit of... Things that I'll be testing them out with. So, we'll just use that for now and we'll grab a bit of redstone as well. Let's just take this out by hotbar for uh, the sec and we'll grab our first one that is the cage hunting trap. Now, the cage hunting trap is a, a cage pretty much. So, what you'll need to do, you'll need to break a one block hole in the ground, place your cage down, and that is pretty much the trap. The only way to activate it, oh it's one way and it is also one hit to destroy. To activate this you'll need a pressure plate of some sort, so I'm going to grab a pressure plate. Do I have a pressure plate? No I do not. Uh, uh, and while to show off the pressure plate, the grass camouflage pressure plate, I'll use the grass camouflage pressure plate for this, so you just place it down, you step on it and it will activate it. But what you really need to do, you need to place it in the ground and then you can use a pressure plate and then you walk on it and it activates the trap. And yeah, you can trap animals with it and crap like that. Okay, now that I've showed you the grass camouflage and the cage hunting trap, I'll show you the fire hunting trap and I'll also show you the invisible pressure plate. So, first of all, you will need... To each of these traps, you'll need to place a hole in the ground for them to work. So you place in your fire hunting trap and then a pressure plate. You place it on top of it and then it'll just light fire around you when you activate it. So you can actually place the invisible pressure plate next to it or a normal pressure plate. And when you step on it, 
it will catch on fire like on the edges. But I'll just place it on top because then when they walk, they just like burn like hell. Okay, now that I've showed you uh, the these two, I mean this one and this one. So I'm just gonna place only what I've already showed you down this edge of this. So I've showed you all these. Next, I'm gonna show you the pitbull hunting trap, and I'm just gonna use the grass camouflage to um, use as a pressure plate. So you'll need to dig a hole in the ground, place the pitbull hunting trap with the grass camouflage on it. You walk along, and it just makes a big hole in the ground. And what is cool about this trap is they actually won't despawn because an animal has to move about I think 15 by 15 squares to be, be able to despawn but they will not despawn if they are trapped in this so I, I'm actually going to start using animals to test them out besides me so let's spawn a creeper for example screw you so I'm peaceful uh, whoop, let's hit this creeper oh oh start creeper what what you going to do creeper what what, what are you going to do Okay, now that I've showed you the pitbull trap, I'm going to show you the in this trap that is, uh, I don't really like it. The incinerating trap, I honestly hate it. I don't really think it's that good besides trapping people. So you place it down, you need a pressure plate next to it, and you stand on it, and it activates. You cannot place a pressure plate on top of it. it actually makes, like, removes your pressure plate so you won't get it back if you place it on top. So you tap on it and activate fire. I would actually prefer the uh, other fire trap than this. But yeah, that's the incinerator. Okay, now that I've shown you the incinerator, I'm going to show you guys the fake grass and fake sand covering. And I'm also going to show you the spikes. So first of all, you will need a hole for this, uh, these traps. So I'm just going to quickly dig a little... Uh, six by six hole, or nine by nine hole, or a nine by three hole. No, three by three hole. So now that we've got our little three by three hole, we're just gonna dig out. So pretty much what the uh, grass covering does is it makes oh what that's not grass covering grass co fake grass covering pretty much makes look like grass so if you were to walk along if I was to cover this whole thing up with this and you're just walking you're like oh some random grass I might to walk on it oh like crap and what is also good about this is you can place spikes on the bottom so they sort of go together and all, but what, well, the better thing to do with this is to use sand because one that cam camouflage is the most but sand so it sort of stands out a bit Cover. Like, go away, snake. Like, 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 like. So they would fall and they'll die and I'll get their bacon. But it actually destroys the thing, the thing, so you won't actually be able to get their drops. But I'm going to test it on a bad mob to show you guys that they won't all just walk to it. So, as you can see, you can have like 50 billy creepers and they'll fall into the trap. Yeah, so that is pretty much the end of this video. So please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye, peace.